Hello survivalists, welcome to Force of Nature 2 Ghost Keeper. I've been waiting for this game for some time. It is now out and I cannot wait to dive into it. Um, if you haven't seen Force of Nature 1, I did a let's play on that and it's been about a year since that let's play was out. So hopefully if I remember in the upper right hand corner, I'll put a link to that playlist so you can go check it out if you want to. Uh, maybe check it out after this video. But we're going to dive right into Force of Nature 2 Ghost Keeper. Uh, continue? Uh, well, yeah, it's kind of empty. Uh, new game. Uh, let's see, character name. Well, let's make it simple. Um, for me. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna say as a male because, why not? Uh, skin color. Uh, well, if it's gonna be kind of, you know, barren, I'm not wearing any clothes. I'm gonna be a little sunburnt to start with, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, hair color. Let's go right, right to there. Why not? Actually, what kind of... That's kind of odd. Well, yeah, we'll go there. I can't do green like I did in um, Ranch Simulator, so I guess I'll have to go right to there. Uh, let's see. Game modes. Normal. The main mode for confident players who are not afraid to face difficult situations during the game. Uh, might be us. Uh, simplified. Enemies are weaker. Recipes are faster. Inventory is increased. Steam achievements are disabled. Well, I, I like Steam achievements for some reason. Uh, I, I feel better when I see a Steam achievement pop up. Uh, game difficulty we can change in the future. Okay, achievements will remain unavailable when changed from simplified to normal. Uh, so we're going to go right ahead on normal. Let's go ahead and create. I think we're all set there. Uh, loads right in, I think. Uh, what's that? What is that noise? I have no idea. Oh, it looks like a little bit of a tutorial. Or uh, looks like we're starting in the garage here. It looks like a garage. Uh... Mouse left button uh, to rotate the camera, hold mouse mid and move left. Okay, uh, zoom in and out. Yeah, okay, that makes all sense. So, yeah, it's been a while since I've been into Force of Nature, so getting used to control is probably not a bad idea. My flashlight, what's going on here? Uh, pick up items. To pick up an item, hold space and click on the, the text that appears. You can also pick up items using the left control key. Uh, space, uh, left control. Uh, the flashlight has been broken. Let's see, maybe I can fix it. I'll need a screwdriver. Hmm, where did I leave it at? Uh, my guess is you left it over here in the toolbox because it's kind of flashing at me. So let's come over to here, space bar, toolbox. Uh, there is a screwdriver. Can I double click? I forgot how to do that. Or I have to drag it over. I think I have to drag it on over. So we'll drag it on over. Um, crafting, to produce items, you will need a workbench. Open it. Select the recipe and click the craft button. Um, all right, so workbench is over here. Uh, workbench. Okay, there's my flashlight. I need it. It says I need a tool of a screwdriver. It, it's kind of still my memory how to do it. Uh, let's go ahead and craft. So we are fixing our flashlight. A little tutorial to start off the game with is always not too bad to get you kind of used to controls. Okay, so now what's going on here? Um, that's the noise again. What's, what is all this? Uh, I have no idea. Um, we got to go over to check it out or something. What am I looking for? Oh, examine. It says right there, examine. Let's go ahead and examine it. Uh, <laughs> just wait. I'll give you a, I'll give you a scene. It's, it's a raccoon. Um, fighting to attack a target. You want me to attack the raccoon, huh? Uh, the character will continuously attack until the enemy... Okay, let's go ahead. Where can I... Uh, perhaps it's not a good idea to fight a raccoon with bare hands. Uh, oh, nope, something flashy over here. Uh, let's go to the locker. Well, there's a broom that attacks. Let's go ahead and put the broom there. And now can... Oh, let's delete that. Where's that raccoon? So I'm going to attack the raccoon with the broom. Uh, okay, there's one hit. You're, really, you're going to make me kill the raccoon, huh? Come here, buddy. I, I only hit attack once and, and the character is attacking the raccoon. Oh, the raccoon's going to escape. Uh, interesting. Okay. Uh, I think it would be better to patch the hole in the wall. I think the cement will do. Uh, cement will do. Uh, it's flashing over here. Let's go over to the shelf. All right. So I got a drag, apparently. Hold left shift and click. Ah, left shift. Ah, okay. Thank you, tutorials. Uh, manual crafting. Press C for manual crafting. 
Um, let's go ahead and craft that. Doesn't say I need any tools. We are good. Uh, B for building. Makes it simple enough. Looks like I can build a wall. Uh, build. And I think you want me to build it there. And this will keep the little critter out, I would assume. Construction wall completed. What on earth is that? Is that? I don't think that's part of Earth. Um, let's go ahead and examine it, and I'm pretty sure... Is this how we get into the force of nature? I'm thinking so. Ah, so I, I think a lot of it's going to be kind of like Force of Nature, the original um, Let's Play that we did. But um, it's, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot better than the original. At least I hope it will be. Let's go ahead and zoom around here. Yeah, camera zoom. How far can I zoom out? That's as far as I can zoom out. All right, let's go around and see if we can pick up some stuff. Well, there's a whole bunch of stuff around here. So come over here. Yep. Yeah. Let's go grab everything we can off the ground. I'm not going to pick up nothing yet that I don't have to. But obviously, we're going to have to get like a working bench, some tools. So I'm pretty sure everything that is on the ground, we're going to need off right away. Linen. I don't remember that being on the list from the first uh, Force of Nature. All right. Uh, craft. Now let me go ahead and mark all these off so everything's not flashing in our inventory here. There we go. Uh, what else is down here? It says new. Tannery, basket, crafting table. There we go, crafting table. Uh, rope, sticks, and logs. Well, a log, I need to make an axe. So I guess I can make an axe, I would assume. There, everything's off there. And what's new here? Oh, here we go. Objectives. I like object. Uh, fix a hole in the wall. Oh, this is everything we did in the garage. All right. So craft basic basic tools. Place a construction bonfire. Uh, place a constructed construction bonfire. Yeah, place a construction discovery table. Discovery table, huh? I was thinking a crafting table. But you want me to place down a discovery table? Um. Uh, discovery table. I mean, there's a crafting table, but you said discovery tables. That's no, there is a discovery table. Uh, can be used to learn new constructions and recipes. Can be placed both indoors and outdoors. So that needs pelt. So I got to kill something. Apparently, a uh, rope and logs. A uh, rope. Um, yep. Uh, I'm clicking for it. Can be can be produced by manual crafting. All right, so I gotta go to manual crafting. How do we make rope on this one? Uh, linen. Oh, I saw linen over there. All right, let's go grab some linen. Actually, there's a whole bunch of linen over here. Uh, yep, pop that all off there. Left control to pick everything up. That makes it easier. And you know what? Let's pop that up as well. All right, so rope. Let's go ahead and make some rope. Wait, I, is that 20 rope? Let's not make 20 rope right off here. Let's make 15. It's not like I'm not going to use it. So let's go ahead and craft it on up. Um, so while we're doing that, an axe is something I'm definitely going to need. So I need rope. Uh, I need to make some splinters. I got some sticks. Splinters is going to be... I can make splinters. After I make all these ropes here. 10 more in queue. Then, we'll, then I can queue this up. Uh, uh, yep, let's go ahead and, you know what, let's go ahead and make all the splinters. Actually, let's not make all the splinters. Let's make that much. We'll put that in the queue. And then we should be able to make a stone axe. Uh, I won't let me craft it up, uh, queue it up because I haven't made any splinters yet. So a discovery table. I don't remember that in the first force of, in the original force of nature. It may have been there. I don't remember, like I said, it's been a year since I've been in the, to that game. So I'll have to see. Uh, I do like the map is over here. Let's see. We got levels and experience. We got something new over here. It says something new. Okay. So what's 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 new there? I'm not sure. 
have no idea. But Flash is new. Um, did you do this? I think he uh, did everything that we need to do. So now we should be able to go ahead and make a stone axe. Let's go ahead and craft that up. Uh, let's see here. Do I have enough to make a stone pick? I do. So for now, I think my axe is going to go in slot number two. The pick will go into three. Let's go ahead and make a stone hoe. That sounds kind of uh, weird saying that. And then we'll go ahead and make a stone knife. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to need that sometime soon. And a stone knife. Craft that up. What do I need to make a weapon? I need a log. Well, that's all right. We can go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll put the knife in the number five slot because that might be my first weapon. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and chop down a tree. Oh, I see a goose over here. So if I remember like the original Force of Nature, I think I'm probably surrounded by trees so nothing can come in here as of yet. Kind of protecting us. Grab all of that. So now can I make, let's go to craft and make ourselves. I did not get, oh, I need. Oh, I need to, I need to put my knife in there. Ha ha ha. I knew that. Tools. I already forgot tools. Let's go ahead and make a uh, cud, cudgel, crudgel, crud, crudgel. I'd call it like a bat, but either way, <laughs> that's what I would call it. Uh, it's in your inventory. There we go. There, we, now we got ourselves a weapon. Um, I could make a bow, actually, but then I would need to make arrows, and I need feathers, bamboo, and or sticks. Uh, I don't have any feathers, so let's not get involved in that. So what do I need to make this discovery table? Oh, that's right, I need a, a pelt, and I need some logs. Well, let's go ahead and ch get some, ourselves some logs. How many logs we got? We got four. So while we're crafting that, we do have skills in this as well. Um, health, stamina, accuracy, crafting, and construction. I'll probably put it into stamina, because I remember stamina was a big thing in the original. Um, down here, we do have health, and of course the oranges are stamina. Uh, when it comes to games, I always have an issue with stamina. Go figure, right? All right, so what is that trying to tell me? Craft basic. Uh, I got to collect clay, soil, and sand, it says. Uh, we're working on that. We'll work on that. All right now, I'm just trying to gather enough, enough material to make a discovery table. My guess is a discovery table is going to be like when I gather materials. I don't really know exactly what to do with it. I can put it on the table. I will discover how to make things, I guess. Let's cut down another tree here. Actually, will this tree be a smart one? Because I may leave an opening here for things to come in. I just realized I'm wearing wearing clothes. So, like on my inventory, where, did, where was it? Uh, no, wrong button. Yeah, over here I thought I was gonna be dressed like this, but apparently I get a shirt and pants and all that stuff. All right, so do I have enough? So I have enough rope. Um, I have logs, but I need some pelt. So I need to go destroy something. Um, let me come down here to objectives and let's see. Clay, soil, sand. Okay, so right here, that's going to be number four. All right, and come back over here. So that's clay. Is this going to be soil? And then down here for sand. Look, Ma, I discovered sand. Uh, no, come on over here for a second there, dude. There we go. Craft basic tools. Put something in a hot slot. Uh, did I not do that? So I got to make a bonfire and discovery table. table. Uh, let's see, where do I want to start placing things? I think a fire right on the cliff would be a nice little thing to do. Is that under building? Where is that going to be here? 
bonfire uh, stick and embers. Manual crafting. All right. Um, that's going to be here. An ember stick. So let's go ahead and craft one of those. I think a little fire right here. So at night if I'm cooking things, I'll, I can look out the ocean. Uh, look nice, I would assume. Okay, let's, let's go back to building. Bonfire build. Right there, that's good. Get yourself a fire going. Keep yourselves uh, nice and warm. Put your spirits up high. All that good stuff. Uh, let's come over here. So what can I do in a bonfire? Uh, baked potato. Fried meat. Flatbread. Moors. Grapes, apples, and pure water. Okay, and fried egg. Well, obviously, a lot of that stuff. I don't have a lot of that stuff. Uh, no, I don't want to. No, okay, I got to put that away. Uh, let's grab that, and let's see if we can get ourselves kind of out of here and see if we can go ahead and... the heck was that? A potato. I think I just harvested a potato. Uh, no, got to get my axe out first. And I'm just trying to see if I can get out of here. What's the quickest way out of here? So already we're going out in the woods. And then <laughs> who knows what we're going to run into right off. Uh, let's go ahead and we chop that down. Now the only, the only problem with this is I can get out. Which means things can come on in. Alright, let's get ourselves a weapon. So there's cotton here, but I'm not going to pick things. What's my inventory looking like? Oh, 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 oh. Alright, uh, he's hitting me for four damage. I hit him for eight. Oh, no, no, no. Not this run mechanic. <laughs> oh, I hate the run mechanic. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, so I may die here pretty darn quick. Okay, no, no, no. Ne never mind that one. Just come back here, get the pelt and the claw. Right, let's get the heck back to camp. Uh, <laughs> I'm already half out. Oh no, come on. Am I, yeah, are you kidding me, man? Alright, I'm not going to be able to run away from him. Uh, hopefully he runs away or I kill him. Oh, I'm down to one health. No, raw meat. Alright, let's, let's get out of here. Um, great, now i got to find my way back. <laughs> Where's my map? Use, use the map, Peanut, use the map. Somewhere in here, and hopefully nothing comes to attack me. Because, uh, yeah, we're just <laughs> just about dead already. Within the first, what, what are we, not even 20 minutes in, I'm almost dead here. Alright, hopefully nothing comes in to attack us. Uh, discovery table, yes, I can build one. Uh, can we rotate? We can rotate. Uh, can I put that down here? Sure, why not, we'll put it down there. Let's come and build that. Oh, my health is going up at a relatively decent rate here. I'm already up to 8 health, which is not much. Can I come in here? Uh, place a can, uh, discovery table. That's what we're doing. And I assume whenever we hit level 1, whenever that might be. Alright, and investigate pottery. So let's come into here. Uh, pottery. I got to use clay to discover pottery. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, masonry. I can do that. I got stone and clay. Agricultural is soil, raw water, linen seed. I got linen seed. All right. We did. We, we got the pottery down. That's good. Um, let's go ahead and do masonry. Let's learn some stuff. Copper ore. Okay, I kind of know a little bit about that. Uh, that's going to require a pelt, leather, and rope for tailoring. Tailoring is going to be kind of important because, well, that's going to be armor. Uh, husbandry, which is straw, pure water, and rope. Alright, so raw water. Alright, so I think I learned... Okay, so 
I kind of like that. It says something new. I learned a new recipe in the fireplace. Let's check this on out. Uh, so, uh, clay frying pan that we learned. Clay mortar. Clay stock pot. And a jug. My guess is a jug. I wouldn't need that to get the water. All right, so let's come on down to here. Oh, wait, where was the clay? The clay is up here. Let's get the hoe out. And hopefully nothing comes through that little opening I made there. That's, uh... I wonder if I can put... I wonder if they got a gate. Can I have, a, have I learned a gate or anything like that? Is that just common stuff that I learn? But putting up a gate would be good so nothing can, can come in here. All right, that's enough. That's enough clay, dude. There we go. Let's come on down to the good old fireplace. All right, let's go ahead and make a jug. Do I need any tools? Doesn't say I do. Nope, we're all set there. Um, water filter. Stone, clay, sand, coal. I don't know how to make coal yet. Stone mill. Logs, rope, sand, clay, stone. I don't think I need it yet, though. Anything else? Ooh, branch gate. That's the sticks and rope. All right, uh, don't come back into the fireplace. We got ourselves a jug. Let's go ahead and put a jug in our inventory. And our hot bar. Let's come on down here. And... All right, we got ourselves some water. Go back to the discovery table. Um, that is agricultural, agriculture, agriculture. <laughs> I want to say ag agricultural, and I keep reading this, but my brain keeps saying agricultural, but it's agriculture. All right. Um, so what did I learn now? Nothing there. Seed bed can be placed outdoors. So I need some soil and some sticks. That might be good for the linen because to make a lot of rope. We're going to need to make a lot of rope. And plus there is wheat around here as well. That is not too bad. Uh, can I take... No, I need the hoe. There we go. And we'll come over here and we'll dig up some soil. Let him go to town for a few seconds. Can I? Is there like a bigger blow up of the map? Oh, and we actually got like green fields. And since I haven't gone anywhere else, um, that's as much as I learned. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are we done with uh, all the soil there? I don't really have much room in this little area to start with, but we can move things around if I remember correctly. So where I place things now, instead of destroying them, I should be able to move them later on. All right, let's grab all of that and let's come over. No, no, no. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Um, I guess right here wouldn't be a bad place. Is that uh, building or is that in? Crafting. Seedbed. Go ahead and place that right there. If I remember, there's there was different sizes of seedbeds in the first one. I wonder if I'll learn different sizes in this one as well. Yep, I'm making the seedbed. That's what we're doing. Aha! Uh Alright, so, uh, linen. So, linen requires linen seed and raw water. Or pure water. Does it... I mean, pure water sounds like it'd be better, but would it really matter? So, that's going to be ready in three minutes, apparently. 
Uh, let me click on this so we can learn wheat, uh, potatoes, cane, grape, and cotton. No, uh, stop that. Stop digging. Stop digging. All right, so uh, investigate animal husbandry. So what do I need to do to do that? Let's run back over to our discovery table. There's no sleep meter in this game, so that's that's kind of a good thing for me. Animal husbandry. So that requires straw. You can find and take it from the ground. I think I have to grow wheat to get straw, be my guess. But I think we're going to hold off on that right away. What else can I build right away to start making, like, storage? Um, ooh, wow, that requires nails. Well, we don't got any nails. I don't got any of that material. Fertilizer, storage, cupboard, that requires nails. Basket, just requires sticks and rope. Uh, slot for five storages. I don't really have that much, but since that's the only thing I can build, maybe I should build we'll build some storage over here. So the one thing I'm trying to remember, actually, I think if I put sticks. If I put sticks in the fireplace, I get embers. What do I? If I put logs in there, do I get coal? So if I put in there, can I put my meat in there? Yeah, and a claw. We'll put the claw in there. I don't know what I need the claw for right away. And everything else, I kind of need. Uh, linen seeds I'll put in there because I don't need to be carrying those around for anything. And everything else we're going to hold on to. Um, so I can make embers is with sticks, but I can't make coal in here. Where, oh where, coal smoker. <laughs> I need sticks and we need some clay. Nope. Dude, you need to come up here. Let's get a coal smoker going so we can go ahead and get some coal going because we need that for a lot of stuff. I mean, just like any survival game, once you're starting out, you need everything. And I really don't want to go out into nature until I got a little bit more protection and maybe a little bit better weapons or something like that. But I mean, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to go out to get more materials of what we have. You keep telling me new. Yes, I know that. Uh, grow grapes. Oh, so I got to click on it to get rid of the new thing. All right, I got gotcha. you. Yep. Let's come over to here. Oh, I don't have enough sticks. Okay, so I need my axe. Probably get more sticks from the smaller bushes. So one click on the bush or tree, you know, he'll continue cutting for you so you don't have to keep uh, smacking away. All right, we'll put the coal smoker. Like I said, we can move everything around later on. So where I put it now may not be where it always stays. And you know, we'll put that right there. Build it on up there, sunny boy. All right. And yep, we can make coal. That's going to cost us some embers and some logs. All right. So let's come over to here. And we'll make... Do I need to make 24? No, let's go ahead and make 12. How about that? All right. So that's why, why that's being made up. Let's come back into here. So animal husbandry is straw, which, like I said, might be from wheat. So let's go ahead and grab some wheat. Wheat grain. Oh, I got straw from just from picking that. Uh, let's get rid of this. I don't want to say get rid of this cotton. Let's go ahead and pick up that cotton because that's going to annoy me being there. Um, so I need, oh, I need pure water. Oh, can be produced in the following, uh, a well, 
A well level 2, a well, and a water filter. Uh, I did see the water filter. Let's uh, That's uh, right there. So I need clay, sand, coal. Alright, so we're kind of working on that. So I'm probably going to need a lot more embers. Um... It was in the done pile. That's where that's where it goes. Uh, how many did I make? Twelve. Let's come back over to here. And that'll allow me to make sixteen. Yep, let's go ahead and just start crafting that up. That'll take a little while. Alright, so uh, that'll make twelve. So I need some sand. And I need stone. I need ten stone. Alright, uh, is there stone here? Uh, yes, there is. There's a big, huge chunk of pile of uh, stone right here. Start hacking away. Let's hack away in the safe zone before we go anywhere. And, uh, I, I probably got to get rid of the stone anyways. Cause I, I mean, eventually we're going to put down a house and a bed, right? Now, if I remember what the bed does, that allows us to sleep and regain health and stamina a little bit quicker. Since there's not a sleep meter. Now, if I remember what I saw in their Discord channel, I did think they said that eventually multiplayer will be come to the game, but uh, didn't really see didn't see if they said when it would. Okay, so how much stone do I have? Fourteen stone. I wonder how high it stacks up. I'm trying to remember in the previous game how high it stacked up. I don't remember. Alright, my stamina is getting a little bit low and I kind of forgot what I need. Oh wait, I don't have to go anywhere. Uh, water filter. So I need coal, I need sand. Dig up some sand there, boy, and we'll make ourselves a water filter and get ourselves a water purifier. And we'll learn how to raise some animals. Of course, we'll have to go out in the wilderness to catch those animals. But we'll do that in some due time there. Uh, 14. Let's see, I got 8 coal. I think I needed 10, didn't I? Yeah, I need 10. Need two more. And we'll make ourselves a water filter. Uh, probably just put the water filter like over here for now. Uh, where is the move? Oh, there's a move button right down here so I can go ahead and click on it and move it. Okay. That's easy enough. Nope, don't, 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 uh, don't dig there. It's another minute, and this is six seconds left, and it says a minute four. Oh, because it makes four at a time. I see that was a minute in total. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, let's go ahead and build one of these water filters. Um, that's uh, kind of on the big side. That's big. All right, we'll just place it down there. Like I said, we'll move everything around later on. Right now, just place some stuff down, get this camp up and going. Probably should have put it closer to the beach area, but close enough. I don't remember a water filter being in the first force of nature. So eventually, when we go out of the wilderness, it's going to be different biomes. Uh, we'll have to take out some goblins here and there, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, yep, yeah, pure water. Uh, I need raw water. Imagine that. No tools required. So let's grab our... Our lovely little pot that we made. Come on down here and we'll grab some water. I don't really see water in the jug, so I'm just going to assume it says it says it's in there. All right, and we'll craft two of those. And this is so we can go ahead and do animal husbandry. 
So the only thing this is for, as you can see, the recipe, the only thing we do know that it's for is for pure water. So can I put these into one jug? Is that how it's going to work? Or do I get new... I'm just trying to check out, so I I'm trying to see if I can cheese out a jar by doing that. Not too sure if that's actually how it works. All right, so animal husbandry. Here we go. Let's go ahead and, and discover that. So not too bad. We got ourselves a water purifier. We got ourselves a fire going. We got a, a, coal, a coal smoker going. A little bit of a storage thing. Um, what did we learn by doing animal husbandry? Uh, so we can make ourselves a barn, a goosery, a cow shed, a sheep fold, and a chicken coop. Trough greenhouses. How do I, I'm trying to figure out how do I capture them? I remember before we can make nets. I'm trying to figure out where do we find out how to do that. Uh, teleportation is a thing in this like it was in the first one. Um, but I think maybe possibly making some gates where I got myself a little opening going through so no animals can come in here. Um, don't think I quite need it as of yet, but it wouldn't be bad to have. But I am looking for ways to how do you capture the animals. That would be interesting to know. Blast furnace. Whole bunch of stuff here as we can see. Oh, maybe if I go to a sling. So I'm not seeing like a net or anything as of yet. I have no idea. What else do I got to tailoring, pelt, and leather? Carpentry needs a plank. I got to learn how to do some stuff. Definitely got to learn how to do some stuff. Is there levels on the fireplace? No. What about this? Not that I can see, but we'll grab this coal that's there. Well, I think not too bad for our first little episode here. I think we're going to end it right here for now. Um, because I probably got to do... Uh, that way I can look at some things in between episodes. Like how do I... What the heck was that? Uh, looks like I just harvested some grapes. I'll pick those up before they, I don't know if they'll rot or not, but I got to figure out how to capture the animals. Um, yep. Our linen's all set, ready to rock and roll. So I'll just leave that there for now as well. Maybe build some more seed beds. So maybe I'll gather some materials in between episodes by getting some more sticks, some more logs, maybe some more soil so I can plant more seed beds, uh, maybe get some wheat going. And I'm thinking next episode, we'll try to probably start working towards getting ourselves maybe... A house, not that a house is too important for us, but, you know, it will look better for us if we had a house here and a bed and maybe start venturing further out into the wilderness. Uh, need to level up a little bit. As we can see, I'm still only at level one. Somehow, after building after all this stuff, I'm only at level one still. So I can't uh, put more level, I can't put points in my skills. I need some skills. Uh, we need to build some armor, maybe some better weapons. As we saw, I almost died in the first 20 minutes of this episode. But anyways, that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you again right here in Force of Nature 2. But until then, have a good one.